Hoppa Day Terawami and good evening Commonwealth. Today is Tuesday, January 5th. 2016. The United States Citizenship and Immigration Service, or USCIS, processed about 800 CW permit renewal applications by the end of the day Monday, January 4th, stateside. This as Congressman Greg Kalili Sablon was informed of the progress by Director of USCIS Leon Rodriguez in a phone conversation Tuesday morning, our time here. Sablon will be making a stopover in Los Angeles on his way to D.C. Thursday to meet with officials at the USCIS Processing Center. So those applications, most of them will get approved. There will be a small number that would require um, uh, additional evidence, uh, RFEs as they call them. They would have to send a request for uh, evidence. And an even smaller number that will be denied. But uh, the, they would address the 800 uh, applications today and make decisions. The applications processed by end of the day Monday stateside are those submitted 90 days or greater prior to the expiration date of December 31st, according to Sablon's office. Sablon tells us there are about 2,800 applications backlogged, and 2,000 of those were filed late after the 90-day window began. He is now urging employers who submitted their petitions more than 90 days from the expiration of December 31st to go online Tuesday and review any actions made by USCIS. Uh, if it's an approved action, they could just print that and take that and keep it in their files until the original comes in by mail. And uh, so this is some uh, good news. Sablon says he has worked through the holidays to follow up with USCIS and ensure they've added assistance to process the applications. As for the congressman's request to approve the emergency regulation involving a 240-day grace period, he says Rodriguez does not have an answer for him just yet. But he says USCIS officials are talking to lawyers about the possibility. Sablon says he has a good feeling about getting the regulations finalized and approved, however. So even if they were to, say, approve the regs, uh, they, after publication, final publication in the Federal Register, it still needs 30 days to become effective. Within the Federal Register, Sablon clarifies he is asking for that one piece of the proposed rule to be approved for emergency regulations within the proposed rule titled Enhancing Opportunities for H-1B-1, CW-1 and E-3 non-immigrants and EB-1 immigrants. The congressman says the Office of Management and Budget is the clearinghouse to allow the regulation to be put in place. Sablon says Rodriguez is now telling him to please urge employers to submit petitions petitions at least 180 days before the expiration. However, the congressman tells us he thinks that number is unreasonable at this time. It is my personal position that for construction workers, that they should, there is a visa that has unlimited, it's actually unlimited, and it's the H-2 visa, because construction workers, at least for those new construction companies here that are coming into build the projects of, say, a major hotel. They are really here, supposed to be here for a specific project. And there is a, there are visas for that, and it's H-2 visas, H-2B, and we were able to make sure that those visas are unlimited. There's no cap to that. Sablon explains he believes it is unfair for employers who have CW employees to lose their employees because CW permits are filled by construction workers. I, I don't think that's in the better interest of the Northern Marianas. Um, and so uh, I, I know it's not something people want to hear.